A warm welcome to all of you. Today we are going to learn about a new concept in our programming about array function. Arrays are the or data objects which can store data in more than two dimensions. Example, if we create an array of dimension two, three, four, here the first two will speak about the number of rows and the second value, the number of columns and the third value, such kind of two by three matrices, how many we require. The two by three size of a matrix, I required four. The two by three size of a matrix required four. So the first number, it tells about the number of rows and the second number, the number of columns and the third number, the number of matrices in an array. Then it creates four rectangular matrices, each with two rows and three columns and such size, four matrices will be created. Four matrices will be created. Array can store only one data type. Arrays can be created with the help of array function. The function has to be defined like this, array and the brackets. The syntax of an array creation, a variable name followed by the left assignment operator, we need to call up a array function. In the array function, we need to include the data and the dimension and its specification. The dimensions will tell us about the number of rows and the number of columns and the number of matrices and the dimension names. Suppose we can give a dimension names like this, rows R1, R2, R3, the columns C1, C2, C3, the number of matrices, matrix one and matrix two. So this is what the basic syntax of array function in R programming. The data need to be specified and its dimensionality has to be specified. The number of rows and the number of columns and the number of matrices we require and the dimension and its names. So we have to specify like this. And as we seen, the data stands for whatever the input that we are trying to give in the form of uh, a vector where the, the values in an array, the values in a matrix, the values in a matrix that we are trying to give in the form of a vector. And row stands for the number of rows and columns, the number of columns, the matrices, the number of matrices we require. And the dimension names speaks about the names for the rows, columns, and matrices. Now we will create an array with the help of an array function in our programming. See here, the name of the variable A with the left assignment operator, I'm trying to assign the output of array function into a, a variable. And now I'm calling an array function, array and uh, followed by a vector function, a sequence of numbers from one to nine, one column nine stands for, it will call for the sequence of values from one to nine. And the dimension will tell us about, it is a three by three matrices, which tells that three rows and three columns. So such kind of matrix, I required two. Such kind of matrix, matrices, I required two. Now, I will try to execute this particular code. Now I want to run the created variable A. See here, there were two matrices were created, the matrix one and matrix two. 
and it is a three by three matrices because three rows and three columns included in both matrices. If I if I do not specify the dimension, so what will happen? If I do not specify the dimension, so just execute this code. Let us see what will happen when we do not specify the dimensionality of an array. So it will print the output like this. So it will give you a, like a, a vector output. So it will give you like a vector output. Now the next, I would like to create one more array by the name of variable name B, the name of the array B with the left assignment operator, I would like to call up an array function. In array function, um, a sequence of variables from 1 to 20 with C vector function with the dimensionality, I required three by three matrices, three stands for the rows and the next three stands for the columns. So this kind of matrices, I required two matrices. Now execute this particular code. Now when you run this, so what will happen is actually we will, uh, we are taking a sequence of numbers from one to 20, right? And here you can see the arrangement was happened on the basis of column wise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the continued in second matrices, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 18, and automatically the remaining 19 and uh, 20 will be left. So that's how we can able to create an array in our programming. Now, when three matrices inputs are different, then how to create? When three matrices and its inputs are different, so it's very simple to create. Now we need to sp specify a variable name, the name of the variable D and with the left assignment operator, we need to call up an array function. In inside of the vector, in inside of the vector function, we need to specify the sequence. We need to specify the sequence. In the first matrices, I want to include 11 to 14 sequence of matrix. And in second vector, in second matrices, 21 to 24. In third matrices, 31 to 34. Now, if this is what the output that I'm expecting, now the dimensionality, it is all about two by two matrices. It tells the, the first two stands for the number of rows and the second two stands for the number of columns. So by like this two by two matrices, I required a three matrices. I required the three matrices. So even, so execute this code and execute the created variable. Now you can see here, the elements in the matrices are not the similar. So the first matrix comprise of 11 to 14, the second matrix comprise of 21 to 24, and the third matrix is comprise of 31 to 34. It is not in a sequential order. So whatever the sequence that we want, that we can able to specify here. And the dimensionality, it is a two by two matrices and such kind of matrices, I required three number. So that is a situation we can create like this. Now, in next concept, what I would like to tell you is how to add row names, column names, and matrix names in the array function. So how to add the row names, column names, and matrix names. So for this, what we need to do is explicitly, first of all, we need to create a three different kinds of variables by specifying the row names first variable and its name, the row names. And here we need to create a vector function. So we need to specify R1, R2, R3. And the second one, column names. So execute this particular code. So I created a variable by the name of row names. 
with the uh, SC vector function and the column names C1, C2, C3 and matrix names and matrix names matrix 1 and matrix 2. So what I try to do here explicitly I created three different kinds of variables row names, column names and matrix names. So in next step what I am trying to do is I am trying to pass these created variables outputs into a new variable that I am going to create with row names and column names and metric names. So here I am trying to create a new array. The name of the array E and I would like to call up over here an array function. So the sequence of variables includes in vector function 1 to 9 and its dimensionality three rows, three columns, these kind of matrices I required two. So these kind of matrices I required two. So by three by three matrices I required two and the dimension names that we need to specify in list, that we need to specify in list whatever earlier we created the dimension names. So row names, column names and matrix names. So these row names, column names, and matrices, matrix names, explicitly earlier I created three different variables here, row names, column names, and matrix names. So I'm trying to pass the output of these three different uh, uh, variables. I'm trying to pass into a new variable that I'm going to create over here with the help of the name of the variable E. So we need to write a command over here like this. So run this. Now run the array. Now you can see here earlier. Now this is the matrix one, the name of the matrix, matrix one, the name of the second matrix, matrix two, and the column names, column one, column two, column three, the row names, row one, row two, row three. So it is being created like this. So that is how we can be able to add the names of matrices, row names, column names and matrix names. Okay. Now the next concept, accessing the elements from the matrix. So accessing the elements from the matrix. Suppose if we want to access second row, third column, of the second matrix. Now suppose I want to access a second row and third column from second matrix. From second matrix. Now I execute this code. Now it will tell you its number is H. The second row and the third column from the second matrix it is eight. It is eight. And to access third row and third column from the second matrix. So here it, that we need to understand very clearly three, three, two stands for first number. The first value it is row. The second value it is column. And the next value it is the matrix. Either it is a second matrix or first matrix. The first two values, it speaks about the size of the matrix. Right? So the first value, when we are trying to extract the data from matrices, the first value speaks about the row and the second value speaks about the column and the third value speaks about the matrix. So first two, it speaks about the size of the matrix. The first two speaks about the size of the matrix. And the last number speaks about whether it is a matrix one, matrix two, or matrix three. Right? So execute this particular code. So it is nine. And even to access third row of first matrix, 
suppose if i want to access only the third row of the first matrix it's very we should be it should be very careful when we are trying to perform this so 3 comma comma the next second comma speaks about i don't want to see any output related to the column i don't want to see any output related to the column i want to make it empty when you are trying to make it empty you need to put comma right and from first matrix and from first matrix on this so this is the you know the third row from first matrix but i didn't specify any column over here so if i want to nullify the column so we need to just put comma that is enough and to access the second column of first matrix to access second column of first matrix so first we need to nullify the row so just put comma and the second number 2 stands for the second column the second column from first matrix from first matrix so this is what now to access third and uh, third row and third column of two matrices now this is important aspect to access third row and third column from two matrices from two matrices so what we need to do here in the sense so you just specify so matrix 1 and matrix 2 you know third row and third column of two matrices the values are 9 and 9 because my two matrices are same and to access second row and second column from first matrix so if when you want to access the elements from second row and the second column from first matrices that we need to execute this particular code it will come like this and the next one to access first row and third column of first matrix a first row and third column of first matrix so how to execute this the next to access second row elements second row elements of two matrices when you want to access the second row elements of two matrices second row elements of two matrices so just nullify the column and nullify the matrix number also then automatically it will give you when you are trying to access the second row elements of two matrices you need to So just give comma over there. Don't specify anything. Don't specify anything. Just nullify by giving comma comma. Then automatically it will be printed like this. Now suppose to access all elements of first matrices of two matrices. Suppose to access all elements of the first row matrices of two. matrices then you can able to give so we can see here you can get the output like this now now we will see how to perform different operations in arrays suppose here i created the name of the variable variable suppose the syntax how to perform a different operations in arrays the variable name followed by the left assignment operator apply and <clears throat> array name and we need to use here a vector function 1r2 1r2 here one means rows and two means columns here one means 
rows and two means columns suppose what i want to do is i want to create a variable by the name of array1 with left assignment operator i want to call up apply function from matrix a i want to see i want to see from matrix a in first row what is the maximum value from first row what is the maximum value that is what the code over it should be very careful when you are trying to execute this so i am trying to apply the function of apply function here the from the first matrix from the a matrix from first row what is the maximum value from first row what is the matrix maximum value comparatively what is the maximum value execute this now execute this so here the first maximum value is 7 and the second maximum value from second row it is 8 the third maximum value from the third row it is 9 as we can see here see here from the first row the first maximum value is 7 and from second row the maximum value is 8 from the third row the maximum value is 9 it has been shown very clear right now find the minimum element of columns so i would like to create one more variable array2 with the left assignment operator i want to call up an apply function from the array a from second column from second column what is the minimum value what is the minimum value from column operations what is the minimum value just execute this so from column operations the yes yes from the column operations the minimum values are 1 4 from the column operations the minimum values are 1 4 7 suppose here we can see the created matrix the column operations in com column operations what is the first minimum value is 1 from second column the minimum value is 4 from the third column the minimum value is 7 so 1 4 7 from the column so 1 stands for rows 2 stands for columns and find the matrix elements of column and from columns i want to extract the maximum element from the columns from the columns i want to extract the maximum elements so i created one more variable here the name of the variable array3 with left assignment operator i want to call up a function apply from an array from array of a the column operation what is the maximum value what is the maximum value so the maximum value i try to execute this so the maximum elements are 3 6 9 so because we can see in the created matrix in the first column the maximum value is 3 in the second column the maximum value is 6 from the third column the maximum value is 9 so that's how we can able to perform in the column operations we can perform the maximum minimum in the row operations we can perform the maximum and minimum now the next what i want to show is 
attributes in array operations so the attributes is a function which is used to extract the row names the column names and the matrix names so attribute is a function which is used to extract the row names column names and matrix names the syntax to create a matrix attributes of variable name so i want to check the attributes of the created variable e see here the row names are r1 r2 r3 the column names are c1 c2 c3 the matrix names are matrix 1 and matrix 2 so that's how we can able to perform the attributes operations in array functions so these are all the various operations that we can able to perform in array functions so we can able to create a array and that we need to specify the dimensionality which plays a prominent role the first first number speaks about the number of rows and the second number speaks about the number of columns and the third value it is uh, the number of matrices and when you do not specify a dimension it will print like a vector and uh, when you want to repeat you can repeat the, in the arrays the number of matrices when you want to create the matrices with different values that you need to specify in vector function the sequence that we need to specify in vector function the dimensionality need to be specified and uh, whenever when you are trying to create the row names column names and matrix names so explicitly we need to create all these names later on we need to pass into a an array so i hope you understand this session